everybody welcome back to exotic astrology and the other day i was asked a question i was amazed and today i thought why not make a video on this only yes 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 you saw it right the question was how to get rid of malefics my god <laughs> let's get rid of malefics like saturn rahu ketu mars sun oh my god all right so today we will see how to get rid of these malefic influences and these malefic energies and how to heal ourselves and how to deal with the difficult time periods which come when these planets get activated all right so if you are new to the channel and if you have not yet subscribed then please subscribe to it and if you want a consultation and you want to know how to heal <laughs> the malefics and how to get rid of the malefics then you can go to my website you will find the link of the website in the description below and you can book a reading with me all right and before i begin as i always say god is there with you all the time and he will help you get rid of these malefics <laughs> okay so basically who are the malefics now when i say malefics here i do not mean the natural malefics like sun saturn rahu ketu mars these five natural malefics but i also mean the functional malefics all right so i have not made videos on functional malefics i will make them later functional malefics are the lords of the 6th 8th and the 12th houses sometimes they take the third house also to be uh, the lord of the third house also to be a functional malefic so now what happens basically see these malefics they are like police do you understand what police is yes you may say oh i know the police but think uh, for a second ask yourself this question the police is your enemy or they are your friend <laughs> think 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 yes they are my enemies right or they are my friends well the answer is they are enemies for those who do wrong and they are friends for those who have not done anything wrong that means they will only trouble us if we trouble others so now if they are troubling us during their dasha then that means we have given some trouble to somebody pertaining to that area and that is why now they are just coming and saying hey you got some bill <laughs> to pay 100 euros 200 euros 300 euros now you got to pay the bill you have to understand that the purpose of the police the government has police systems right jail prison the purpose of the prison is not to torture the culprit yes i mean that has some level of torture because th that's a punishment but that's not the ultimate purpose the ultimate purpose of a jail or a prison is to purify the person which means the ultimate purpose is to ensure that the next time the person doesn't do that when he goes out of the jail and then when he goes out of the jail to the normal society and he again does the same crime what happens again he comes to the jail right again he gets beatings again he gets very low quality food in the prisons then again the torture he's lonely there it's terrible right so again he goes out after his sentence is over again he comes back so this procedure keeps repeating till the time the person is not reformed so what the malefics are trying to tell us is that we have done something to somebody in the past and at least now we got to stop it at least now whatever we did in the past we cannot change it we cannot do anything about it we cannot erase it but at least we can ensure that now from this current moment from today we do not do those wrong things again for example let's talk uh, for every planet what does sun signify why why in the universe is sun called a malefic i have also made a video on the most malefic planet <laughs> and i have also made a video the most beautiful planet please go and watch both, both of them so now why is sun considered a malefic wherever sun is sitting they say there is some kind of trouble there because we show our ego at that place 
because sun is also the karaka for name and fame now you understand wherever we get name and fame there there we develop our ego right oh i have a million subscribers in youtube i am a big youtuber <laughs> i have read the shrimad bhagavatam so i am a great spiritualist i have followed celibacy for 30 years so i am a great celibate yes i have 10 girlfriends parallelly <laughs> i can charm the hearts of ladies very easily yes so wherever sun is sitting <coughs> we get name and fame there and we also get pride and the bible says pride cometh before the fall which means that before you fall down from your spiritual position from your exalted state pride comes so the moment pride comes it is like a siren po 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 you are about to slip now so wherever sun is sitting whichever sign it is or whichever planet it is conjunct with we need to ensure that we do not behave egoistically in those areas egoistically means the sun says oh it is either my way or highway either here or the nowhere <laughs> either you do things as i want or get lost that's what the sun says because he is the king the king has that com- uh, entitlement complex like duryodhana had in the mahabharat duryodhana it is said he was so egoistic that he did not used to uh, take take servants who would carry the umbrella above his head because he could not tolerate that anything is above his head my god that's <laughs> beyond our imagination so we need to ensure that wherever sun is sitting we do not behave egoistically regarding those areas otherwise it can create havoc in our life and that's what happens with many people they get pride and then they forget their origins as one of my gurus he always keeps saying in hindi apni aukat kabhi na bhulo <laughs> do not forget your roots from where you came do not forget that always remember that that is who you are actually all the other name fame they are just external today it is there tomorrow there today they are saying oh you are the greatest personality and tomorrow you perish you don't exist you see so let's talk of the other malefic saturn 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 my god <laughs> everybody is terrorized by saturn yes the worst of all malefics they say <laughs> but what actually saturn is showing in the chart saturn is showing those areas which we neglected in our past lives that is what saturn is showing nothing more than that they will say that saturn is the karaka for discipline why have you asked because that's the place where you are most indisciplined or undisciplined or non disciplined <laughs> how do you call it i don't know in english that is why you need discipline there because you don't have it so what is the solution during sade sati or dasha of saturn or any difficult transit be disciplined towards whichever house saturn is transiting or whichever house saturn is sitting in your birth chart originally be disciplined towards the planets which saturn is conjunct if saturn is conjunct venus oh my god <laughs> end of marriage no it's not like that we have to be very disciplined towards our spouse whoever we are it doesn't matter otherwise saturn is also the karaka for tears it can show us tears and the other day i was telling somebody that it is very easy to test how your saturn is i don't care it is in libra in exaltation in 20 degrees i don't care it's in 20 degrees of aries in debility very simple test for saturn during the period sade sati 7 and 1/2 years i will make videos on sade sati later or in any kind of antar dasha or maha dasha of saturn did you cry should i repeat did saturn make you cry for whichever reason break up divorce you were fired from job health somebody died whatever it is if saturn has made you cry during its period that means you have also made somebody cry <laughs> so what to do now you ensure that you do not give suffering to others don't give suffering to anybody if you do that then it will backfire be disciplined towards whichever area 
saturn is ruling where is it placed and they say saturn also so shows realistic uh, they say na that the real view of the material world realism what's actually there in the ground why do they say that because that is the area where you are always in the clouds so you have zero discipline in that in that regard right and that is why you fall see if if you fall from the first floor you will not get much hurt but if you fall from the 10th floor you will die so wherever saturn is sitting that tendency is there to be in clouds that is why we need discipline there so what's the solution be disciplined maintain a proper structure maintain a proper schedule get up early in the morning do proper do things in a planned and organized manner otherwise it's difficult you see and then which is the other malefic my god mars oh ho ho <laughs> mangal mangalik <laughs> so many mangal dosh people they keep contacting astrologers oh my daughter is manglik my father is manglik my mother is manglik some people say oh i saw this non manglik person getting married to that manglik person but nothing happened to their marriage some say oh two manglis got married still they got divorced <laughs> so these kind of things keep happening but what is mars ultimately mars is nothing but violence see my I, i will tell you the moment you defeat somebody the pleasure which you get that is mars should i repeat Oh no, it's understood. Suppose somebody said something to you, and you prove that person wrong. Abhi bata na kahan hai? That feeling which you get inside, yes, I have defeated somebody. That feeling is Mars. So if you go on defeating, crushing people behind, uh, below your legs, then when the time of Mars comes, he will also crush you. <laughs> Yes I am laughing when I say this because that's what people do the other day I uh, met a girl she's from Delhi India <laughs> and what she told me was she had a presentation where a chinese girl was asking her too many questions during her presentation and then when the turn came for that chinese girl to present this girl from uh, Delhi India she's a punjabi girl <laughs> she said to me that ah today i asked her questions and she could not answer you know i also humiliated her she had humiliated me i have also humiliated her and i was like mm. <laughs> what can i do after all it's over and i was thinking that this girl is so foolish she could have drank that poison Okay somebody insulted you fine And maybe the Chinese girl had no bad intention when doing it Maybe she asked some questions you could not answer it's fine But now what you did you also created another karma you are restarting the cycle you see And then what will happen one day oh mangal has done this mangal has done that and then what about violence beating people yes 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 eating meat people don't like when i say this people say oh animals were meant by uh, made by god to be eaten by humans how did you know you you went to god and asked or god came and told you yes 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 god came in my dream right <laughs> such funny answers people give i will see it in the comments what people type now anyway so when we take part in violence by killing others and enjoying their flesh then we will also see that suffering in some way or the other people keep telling me oh my husband beats me my wife beats me my mother beats me my father beats me oh my god so many beatings so much torture why it is happening because we have done it to somebody so what's the uh, way to get rid of it get rid of it right stop doing it now If you are eating meat, I don't care whatever it is. It's chicken, mutton, beef, pork, whatever it is. It doesn't matter. Reduce it slowly, 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 slowly. Eliminate it completely. It is even not good for the body. Whoever says what, because scriptures say we have not given 
life to anybody so we do not have a right to take life suppose i make uh, a cake myself and then i destroy it nobody will tell me anything because i only made it with my ingredients with my money so i can do whatever i want with the cake nobody is going to tell me nobody has any right to tell me why did you destroy that cake but suppose tomorrow is your birthday and you brought a cake for for around 50 euros and then tomorrow i go uninvited to your birthday program and i destroy the cake <sighs> terrible right you would not like it because i have not contributed there nor have i made it <laughs> so if we have not given life to somebody we do not have the right to take life yes and then seeing all these things violence in the tv or any kind of violence hi- hitting other people criticizing sarcasm that is also under mars everything is noted my dear sir so if we are doing all these things then we we need to ensure that we do not do it now okay then which planet oh my god rahu <laughs> how did i forget rahu man it's impossible rahu is rahu after all <laughs> So what about Rahu? Rahu shows all the cheatings that we have done, <laughs> all the lies we have spoken. So another quick test for Rahu. Rahu is exalted in Rohini, Capricorn, Pushya, wherever it is exalted. Forget it. Just check. When your Rahu Antardasha came within any Mahadasha. So if you are watching this video, at least you are in your second or third or fourth Mahadasha. Maybe at least two, three Antardasha have passed of Rahu. So check during the Rahu Antardasha where you cheated. Did somebody tell you something and then that person did not do and that person did something else or that person did something which he later did not tell you. Write it in the comments if it has happened. I know many people will write. If that has happened, that means we have done it. to others okay so now what's how to get rid of rahu yes get rid of rahu right let us ensure we do not cheat anybody yes let us ensure that we do not do not try to b- pull somebody down because why why i'm saying pulling somebody down because rahu eclipses the sun and moon they are the royal personalities king and queen so why rahu is considered very strong during an eclipse because that is the time when he is having the power to rule over the entire world during those few moments because he is eating the luminaries only which represents our soul and the mind so when that is happening rahu is very powerful so basically what rahu is doing pulling some body down right so if we don't like somebody then do not go and gossip badly don't do that and if somebody is coming and gossiping to you about somebody s- tell that person stop i am not interested to hear and if you are delighting oh what did he say oh, who is having an affair you know oh she is going with him he is going with her and oh maybe there's something cooking <laughs> if we are g- going on doing that or what watching uh, things in youtube and internet and in the tv where they are fueling all this gossip politics rubbish useless garbage of this world then rahu will <laughs> again he will torment us all right so that is how to get rid of rahu and stay away from prostitution pornography adultery wine meat all these things are under rahu drugs yes so many people i know they are going on dating multiple people simultaneously keeping different options rahu <laughs> total rahu this all everything is total rahu in kali yuga and then ketu over confidence mistakes perfection you not know, it's not perfection it's the place where we think we are perfect that is why ganesh signifies ketu because he is perfect <laughs> so wherever ketu is sitting we need to ensure that we do not become over confident in those lines yes ketu in the seventh house sometimes i have seen people oh i know this girl is good that girl is bad how do you know oh i know <laughs> have you seen the horoscope oh no i know somehow i got that vibe na my vibe is all you know 
<laughs> Ketu in tenth house. Yeah, yeah, I will do it. <laughs> Ketu in ninth house. Oh, maybe God exists. Maybe not. How does it matter? Oh, yes, yes, yes. God exists. My God is the best. If you don't worship my God, you will go to hell, right? Change the topic. <laughs> All right. So that is what I will say. In short, I gave the example for each and every malefic, and how to get rid of all these energies so first of all we have to understand that they are our friends they are not our enemies okay they are just trying to tell us that look don't do this again because this is giving difficulty to somebody else so unless we learn that lesson it will keep us teaching it's like they are like teachers strict teachers they'll hit you with an intention that you learn okay and then we need to cultivate a spiritual lifestyle overall which is in sattva guna mode of goodness how do we do that we need to get up early in the morning we need to chant mantras we need to read the scriptures and then associate with holy people sages saints rishis yogis munis whoever is there in kali yuga go go and find a sit, uh, satsang place near your uh, in your city near your home go and join programs where they are reading the shlokas from the gita and from the shrimad bhagavatam yat karoshi adashnasi yat juhosi dadasi yat fill in the blanks <laughs> where they are reading this kind of shlokas they are explaining what krishna said here what ram said they are they are discussing because in scriptures it is said wherever they are discussing about lord vishnu that place is like a place of pilgrimage and then you also go to places of pilgrimage like jagannath puri rath yatra is going on there write it in the comments how many of you have visited and share your experiences go to tirumala sometimes the other day a lady she, she messaged me that oh i am going to tirumala do you want something i said i want laddus <laughs> so she said okay i will parcel four laddus for you i don't know she has done it or not but that's amazing somebody is parceling laddus from tirumala to german even when i don't know that girl see amazing she is then go to places like rameshwaram take bath in 22 holy wells 22 or 23 look my memory is going down i think it's 22 <laughs> then go to places like dwarka whatever is remaining try to go to jerusalem go to makkah if you are a muslim watching this go to the vatican wherever you are whoever you are try to get some input of spirituality by that you will become a better person chant the mantras of lord vishnu whichever mantra you like whichever avatar you can chant and by that your life will naturally improve whenever you meet people talk about god talk about spirituality if you are a man you are married take your family to some holy place in uh, take take them to a satsang program in the weekends instead of visiting the same supermarket and the same restaurants of the city eating the same dishes over and over and over again try to take some prasad okay in some temple and try to give some donation try to be more forgiving this is how we will get rid of the malefics okay yes rid of malefics <laughs> and at the end you have to understand that we don't have to get rid of them okay because they don't want us to suffer they don't want that we keep crying all the time so they are beating us now so that we don't beat others so that we are safe from further beating in the future okay so that is it from my side if you are new to the channel then please subscribe to it and if you want a consultation then please approach me through my website the link is there in the description of the video please go to the link and there you book a reading okay Until next time wish you good luck with another video on malefics okay and if you know somebody who is been tormented by these malefics then please send this video to them okay until next time wish you good luck bye bye see you